Hi there, this is Sean from Holy Smoke. Today I'm going to go over the goodie bag that comes with your Lo-Fi Model AGP pellet stove. So in the goodie bag you've got a number of different things. Uh, you've got your owner's manual, your operation manual here. It's also the installation manual. Um, let me flip it to the cover page there. Uh, on the first page, when we do our installations, we always fill out some information here. Serial, serial number of the unit, installation date or purchase date, and then our information. Um, now, the first portion of this is all installation, and then about midway through this, we get into operation. So that's on page 21. And this is going to go over the controls of the unit, um, how to start it the first time you uh, light it and carrying the paint. It's going to go over the different modes like thermostat mode or T-stat mode and just all the different controls. It's going to cover maintenance as well. Um, it has a little bit of troubleshooting in here. It's just overall a really great manual with lots of really helpful information. So always recommend reading through this. Um, there's one really good important page here and that is the maintenance page, the stove maintenance. They actually have a maintenance schedule in here for you. So you can see there's a weekly, monthly, and yearly. As the consumer, really, you're gonna be focused on the weekly maintenance or every five bags of fuel is what they recommend. And you're really looking to inspect the burn, clean the fire platform, clean the heat exchange tubes. And I've got a video out there uh, that you can also find that I did on doing these maintenance items. And those really are the most important things to do. On the maintenance, uh, on the monthly maintenance, you're looking at emptying the ash pan, cleaning the vertical exhaust ducts, and cleaning the glass. So for most people, cleaning the vertical exhaust ducts can be a little bit of a challenge because you do have to take apart some of the interior plates. To be completely honest, I wouldn't get overly worried about doing that. However, there are some really good step-by-step -step instructions in this manual on how to do that if you choose to do that. As far as your yearly maintenance go, I highly recommend getting a certified professional to come out and do that for you. It is pretty in-depth and you do have to take a lot of things apart. And also, uh, part of that annual service should also be the annual inspection, which is also a very, very important part for the system. So, moving on from the manual, I've got a few different tools here. Uh, this is kind of like our, our universal, call it the universal pellet appliance tool. It does a lot of different things. It's got a scraper on here for cleaning the, the burn platform. It's got a little uh, L-shaped end here, which you can also use for, for cleaning the burn uh, platform. There's little holes in there, and you can stick that in there. This is also used for your heat exchange tubes for pulling the cleaners, uh, or the, the cleaning um, scraper in and out there. Um, and then it's got a little cutout to hang this on the back of the stove, which I'll show you here in just a moment. They also give you a couple of different styles of brushes. You've got this bottle brush here, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna straighten this out so we can hang it and another just little generic uh, bristle brush here. You also get a couple of fuses. These are fuses uh, just in case the power were to, to go out and then on or you get some kind of power surge. Sometimes you'll have a fuse that will blow. Uh, the way you can tell is if you're not able to turn the unit on, there's no power going to it. Um, or, or not going through it rather, uh, sometimes can be a fuse. So they give you a couple extra fuses that comes in the goodie bag. They also give you an extra burn platform clip. This clip is what holds the burn platform in place, keeps it from sliding forward. Um, I can't show that to you right now because well, we've got a, a fire in this particular unit, but they give you an extra clip for that. They also give you a little um, kind of brochure on a couple of different ash vacuums for cleaning in and around your pellet stove. The last thing, which doesn't come in the goodie bag, but comes with the unit, is your warranty card. On the back of the warranty card here, there is a website that you can go ahead and go to uh, and register the, your warranty online. This is important to do. Uh, if you're interested in what the full details of the warranty are, you can actually find that in the back of your stove manual. On this warranty card, it is good to just kind of save for your records because it does give you the pellet stove information, the model, and the serial number, which is an important thing to have in case you ever need to do any warranty work. All right, there are, that's everything in the goodie bag. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you on the back of the unit where these get hung. Um, there are three tabs. I'll kind of wander around this way here. And you can hang these tools on those tabs. 
uh, just like that. There you go. So that way you're not losing them. It's a good way to keep track of them. All right. Well, there's the goodie bag for your AGP pellet stuff.